Hey guys, Lucas here from Venture Surplus, and today we're going to go over a Type 3 BDU coat. So, if you saw our previous video, you might be thinking, well, where's the Type 2 uniform? Well, the Type 2 is actually a six color chocolate chip desert uh, uniform. And so, it didn't skip really any numbers, it's just the pattern was designated to the pattern, the Type 2 uniforms. So, you have your Type 1 BDU, and now we're going all the way to Type 3 BDU. After the adoption of the Type one BDU, they found some issues but pretty quickly. The biggest was it's a hot uniform. It was made more for those moderate uh, temperatures in you know, America and Europe, whereas if you're somewhere hot like the Middle East or you know, in South America or something like that, it's a little too heavy of a coat. It's durable, not going to fade, but way too heavy of a coat. So what they did is they took lessons learned from Vietnam and were like 100% cotton ripstop. That's a pretty good fabric. Let's just readopt that. So that's what they did. They took 100% cotton ripstop and they put it on BDU camouflage. There's a couple other changes too. Biggest uh, easily visible indicator is the collar got a lot shorter. So if you saw the type one collar, it's huge. Elvis collar is a really good name for it because it's an Elvis collar. Um, so yeah, they shortened that up because they didn't need such a big collar. And they also added waist adjustments. So that way you can loosen it a little bit, let, let a more, some air breathe in there, get a little cooled off and put it back down, keep a trim military appearance when needed. Other than that, it's the same uniform, pocket layout's the same, uh, there's some minor differences here and there, that's about it. Thanks for watching guys, make sure to check us out on VentureSurplus.com, we have a wide selection of authentic USGI gear that's always rotating. Subscribe here, leave a comment and like, and then check out our email list as well so you can find out the newest gear.